Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in front of the tiny house, watching my beautiful chickens. And somebody sent me something very cool. It's these oven mitts. Not only that, but what came in the package too, is two pot holders. And they're made by this company, R-M-O-L-I-T-T-Y. And I have to tell you, these things are very, very thick, very thick. Normally, when I'm cooking over my little fire pit there with cast iron, I have to do, like quadruple up practically like this so that I don't get burned by, by my cast iron. With this, I just need one of these or I could just use one of these, but I feel safer using these. Um, and they work great. They say that they're like covered in a silicone type fabric and um, the company says that they can um, resist heat up to 392 degrees although I don't know if I'll test that theory myself and I'm gonna do a more formal review video just short not home steady stuff along with it and put it up on Amazon so if you click on the link to my Amazon storefront you'll be able to see the little review videos I've done and also I'm gonna put the link for these in my um, Amazon affiliate store under the RV van life homesteading you know, essentials list. And if you buy it through that list, then I'll get a little bit of uh, income because I'm an Amazon affiliate. Anyhow, um, I love these things and I'm gonna be using them a lot because I've been going through a lot of pot holders and a lot of oven mitts because of the kind of cooking I do. I mean, there's just a lot of heat. And so they wear out pretty quickly. I think these are gonna last forever and they're gonna look great in the tiny house because of the color. You know, look at this. This is the color scheme inside my tiny house. So these are going to be great. Anyhow, um, yeah, more formal review forthcoming. And, huh, what am I going to get done today? Well, I got to do something with this deer netting. Um, I've got something else in front of the tiny house here that I want to show you that may provide me the solution for the rest. I don't know how much more I have of it. But I'm thinking that I may even be able to get it all around the tiny house and use the PayPal donation meant for um, lattices to go for something else. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to let the chickens, you know, do their thing. They all got to lay their eggs before I let them out in the yard. And I'm going to see if they try and jump over, you know, or, or go outside the perimeter of their little area. Anyhow, I got to get going. Aww, look at that poor thing. A little frog is caught. I must free him. Okay, Foggy. You're going to be okay. Come on. All right, I need two hands. Poor thing. He was totally tangled up in it. Be free, friend. Go on. You'll be okay. There you go. Just don't hop back into my garden, okay? What? Go. Be free. Poor thing, it's probably scared. I'm gonna scare it away because I'm gonna let the chickens out in a little bit here. I don't want them coming after it. Go on. I've seen one of my chickens eat one of these things. Oh, it's probably just exhausted. Poor thing. Okay, little froggy. I know you're tired and you're scared. Oh, it's dying. Come on, go on, fella. Okay, I'm just gonna let you recover. And just do your thing, okay? Everything's gonna be just fine. I promise. Here they come. They're coming around the back. I wonder if they're gonna try and get out. Let's just watch them. Can't get through. Tough cookie, Schmooky. I think Romeo is upset. Come on, Romeo. There's plenty of other places for you to go. Go on. Go on. Romeo. Take the girls somewhere else. Go on. They'll get used to it. Good girls. Oh, come on, Romeo. Go on. Go on. Go, chickens. 
Well, at least they know they cannot go beyond this point. Let's see if I walk this way, they'll follow me. Come on, chickens. Come on, chickens. Good chickens. Sorry, Romeo, I can't let you take the girls across the street. Good chickens. See there, there's plenty of food over there. Hopefully they don't pull up the plants I planted. They'll probably go for the clover because those chickens really love the clover. Um, that's not really a clover plant. I can't remember the name of it. I'll look it up and let you know. They're doing all right, though. Yep, just as I suspected. I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. They're going to be out all the way over now, there now. Oh well, I tried. I'm going to see if I can herd them back. I did have to go up on that hill and herd them back, so we'll just see what they do for the rest of the day. They're back in the yard now, so hopefully they won't try it again. If not, I may just have to put more fencing up there on the hill. Ah. Well, at least it's something, though. They, they spend most of the day, you know, kind of on this side of the tiny house. So, well, I just want to show you a couple other things I did. See that there? That plastic chicken netting stuff? It's actually pretty good. I had cut a piece kind of like in half so that I could fix the brooder area in the back of the van. And this little remnant here fits perfectly right here. I haven't attached it permanently. But I probably will when I get some more staples from a staple gun. I will probably just attach it to the back of this thing here. And look at that. That's perfect. It goes all the way over there. So I don't know. I may be able to do this around the side of the tiny house. I just don't know how much I have. Look at how positively adorable they are. Oh my gosh. Look, it's all roosting. They're getting lots of feathers, and these leghorns are getting different color kind of feathers, either that or they're just dirty. See, I need to get back in here and clean this whole area out. I think it's the color of their feathers, so look at them. All right, I'm back in the breeding area. This little one's all by herself, or himself. So I'll give you kind of a close look at this one. She's not liking this one bit. Well, at least you get a close look at that one. All the rest of them are down below. I just spent the last 30 minutes chasing chickens around. Yep, they went up the hill again and they're over there again. You hear Romeo? I bet you they're going to get up there again. Um, it's really hard to get them back unless I chase them down from the hill. If I chase them down into my yard, it's they won't go back in. So I'm going to have to put more chicken wire all the way across that hill. I don't know if you can see, but I put the rest of the chicken wire that I've got from Doreen's rolls up there just a few feet. I need it to go all the way basically over there because they don't seem interested in going in the woods that way. They just want to come up this hill. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, somebody had mentioned getting enough fencing to just put a fence around my entire property. And that's what I'm eventually going to have to do. Um, actually, the kind of fencing that uh, Doreen sent, the chicken wire, would be sufficient, really, because I don't need anything formidable. Just something that would be movable and that the chickens wouldn't be likely to want to go past. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Until then, I'm just going to have to be chasing chickens around, I guess. I mean, they spend most of the day free-ranging on this side of the property, but, you know, if a, chicken's, if a chicken can find a way to do something they're not supposed to do, they're going to do it. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to have something cold to drink. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.